just gives me the creeps. I'm going to show you guys how to do this on any Android device. Stay tuned. Yo guys, what's up? So today I'm going to you how to get CarPlay for your Android device. So um, if you guys don't remember, um, CarPlay was a uh, tweak. If you guys jailbroke, you guys can get CarPlay. It was an amazing tweak, so it pretty much allowed you to actually use any app on CarPlay. So really, really convenient. And that was actually one of the top five reasons why I actually jailbroke, because that tweak was a must-have. If you go on like, long trips... Or long rides, um, then that's a must-have tweak because you can watch like your movies. You can put, you know put whatever you guys want on your car dashboard or your on your car screen, and it, it made it, it made it so awesome, guys. But um, I didn't think it was possible with Android. I looked like a couple months ago, and I didn't really find anything. And then actually, I did come across this, so I wanted to share with you guys, um, you know, to let you guys know that this is possible and how to do this. So this is also one of the reasons why I love. Oh, I switch over to Android, and I love Android. A lot more than iPhone. I mean, the side loading is like probably the number one thing that Android has that iOS makes it like a nightmare to do. But just being able to do stuff like this without having to go through the whole hassle of jailbreaking your phone. And, and now jailbreaking is so, it's kind of dead, but it's also very, very hard to do. And then you're, you're having an outdated, you know, iPhone or iOS version. So it's just, it's not really worth it, in my opinion, these days. Um, and that comes from a, a jailbreak enthusiast. <laughs> but yeah, um, so this is Android supported only, obviously. So you guys actually want to search up AAAD and then GitHub. Um, the good thing about GitHub is that everything you saw from GitHub is pretty much legit, I would say, for the most part. So yeah, once you guys um, search this up, click on the first link or click or click the link I clicked on. It might not be the first for you. Uh, you might get it, but yeah, click on what I clicked on. And then once you guys bring you here, you want to scroll down. And um, you guys can read this, so you guys do not need a root. Um, I want to be always transparent and honest with you guys all the time. I did test this out on a root device. So, I mean, and there's a root option, but it shouldn't make a difference. So it even says right here, non-rooted Android devices for the first time in three years. So there is actually a way, like if you have a root device, I'm going to show you in a second. It doesn't really do much difference, but yeah. So this does work with a root or without a root, which is great. So you don't need a PC, guys. You don't need any, it's not like... It's a very, very easy process, guys. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It takes literally a couple minutes to do. If you do have a root device, you guys can install that right here, which is AAAO Tweaker. I did install on my, on my rooted Android, and it doesn't really do much, I would say, or like nothing too interesting. But if you just want like to be able to mirror your phone screen to the, you know, to your car screen, and then also have like, you know, go in your car screen and like click, you know, use your, be able to use your apps from your car screen. If you were to import all your apps to your car screen, then you don't, you don't even have to worry about this. This is like has like extra features, like allows you to disconnect your phone from like you know your car's Bluetooth. It's just like I didn't find any features of this very necessary. But if you have this is a must root. Um, so if you don't have root, you can't install this at all. But if you have root, you can install it and try it out. See if you like it or not. Uh, but yeah, so that does have some known issues. It, the big thing to actually notice is right here. It does not support Android 14. Uh, luckily, both my Androids are on Android 13, but anything below Android 14, it should work on. I'm on Android 13, and, and it worked fine for me. So, unfortunately, if you're on Android 14, you guys cannot do this. Um, hopefully, in, you know, soon it does get updated, but as of right now, it does not support Android 14. It, you know, you always check, check back here. If this is gone, then you should be good, but if it's still there, then it probably won't work. Um, but yeah, so you guys can read more about this here, and then there's FAQ, there's notes, there's everything here. It's completely for free, guys. It, it does not cost money at all. Um, I think they talk about it, saying like you can always like you know donate to the developer, which would be good because this is an amazing um, you know app. But um, you don't have to, obviously. But you know, it'd be nice if you guys can. So yeah, so right here, um, in the pro or free version. Yeah. Okay. So all you want to do is click on go to download. We're bringing to the screen right here. You want to scroll down and then click on right here the APK and then we'll click on to it. It's going to start to install. After it installs, it's going to install the APK, guys, which is right there. I already had it installed, but you just install it like a regular um, app from you know from the internet. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, it kind of walks you through it. It says like you have to turn on like the settings, so um, it walks you through it. But then you just click on like your settings and then you just turn it on for Chrome or whatever your browser you're using, and then it allows you. It should allow you to install the APK. Super easy, guys. All right, so then you just want to, after you guys install the APK, open it up. 
And then you do have other cool stuff here. So you can try these you know, different apps out if you want. But the, what we're going to look for is screen to auto, which is right here. So you hold on to each one. And it tells you pretty much like what it does. So click on screen to auto, click on allow. And I'm going to show you actually all the stuff from here because I never, I didn't saw this yet. So click on to it and then click on OK. All right, and then, uh, you know, install it. Calm down, boss. Okay, so after you install it, go open up or just, you know, open it from your home screen where it's installed. So tap open up and then click the arrow. And like I said, if you have root, uh, you turn it on. If not, you know, obviously you don't need to turn it on. But you want to give permissions to everything, guys. It's safe. I did it on my main device and I'm doing it on this device as well. Through each one. Um, and if it doesn't come up right away, sometimes it, it brings right to it. If it doesn't, just search up the app. But yeah, for each one, you just search it up like this. Or if it doesn't come up, I have, a lot, I have a bunch of crap. Just search it up and then toggle it on. Go back and then do it for each one. And then toggle it on. Uh, allow. You should give permissions for everything. Oops. Okay. Uh, also, I'm going to show you this as well because it's pretty good to know. A lot of people don't know this. Okay. So this is off, right? Like if you straight did. So easy fits all you want to do is hold on to the go to app info hold on to the app go to app info and on the top right click the three dots and then click on allow that's it and then it's going to get the user pin or your face or touch id so once you do that for your passcode in or use your face or touch id whatever it prompts up with you, uh go back to special i think yeah special abilities and then just make sure you guys make sure you talk about it on if all these aren't on it could cause like you know issues or i mean i it might not cause it might not work properly if not all these will turn on so yeah just click on use here click on allow and then we'll go back and then we'll go back again and then access notifications so you want to go find the app All right, and screen auto turn it on click on allow go back go back memory access allow phone permission allow okay and then obviously we can't do the root <laughs> All right, and then that's, and then while driving, the use of this program is prohibited. Take care of yourself and others. Okay, click on the error nets, and that's it. So I'm actually going to go over to um, my car dashboard and show you guys exactly what you do from here. So if you're on certain apps like Netflix, it will not work because they are DRM protected. So for example, hey, where are you? it's on my screen, but it won't show up on here if you blank, if you black screen. Go. But on here, you guys, you see it, so. Keep that in mind. So all you do is you just connect your phone to the um, to the card. If you have uh, CarPlay or if you have a screen, it comes up. And then when you are here, you just want to scroll down, click on Screen to Auto, and then it will mirror your screen. You can also actually um, do it where like you can use it as like an, you could choose it like from the app list. So if you're stuck on the screen where um, you can only screen mirror, you just want to just pretty much just disconnect it, reconnect your phone. And then you want to click on the screen to auto app right there and then it'll bring you here and here's where you actually click applications and you get pretty much all your applications literally every single application you guys get like every application that's on your phone you get here and then you can also just pretty much on your phone yes you, you can it's really dim you can just click it to turn on the screen off save some battery you know it's charging while it's connected and then on here you can just pretty much choose whatever app you guys want and then um, use the app from the screens. It's really similar to CarPlay, how it was on iOS. When you, you know, if you jailbreak and have CarPlay on your iPhone, it's really, really similar to that. But this is like the Android version. Uh, choose an application, and then you can just use it off the screen of your car, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna choose an app. And so it should, okay. So when you choose an app, it automatically loads up your phone screen. So now on your phone, you'd have to then open your, unlock your phone and then you can actually just either use your phone controls or you can use the controls here. And I should, there we go. And then you can just use the screen and then just play wherever you guys want to watch. Well, I mean, use the app, whatever app you're on, and then it should work. So you control it from your, from your phone screen or from no, this. Go, go, like I said, any any app that's DRM'd, like Netflix, I, I'm not sure about Hulu or Disney Plus, but Netflix is, then it won't work. Like you see it on your, your phone screen, the video or movie playing but you won't see the it on your uh where you're connecting your you know your phone to on the dashboard so yeah guys hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um and then when you're done you just disconnect it from your phone um and that's really it so i'll disconnect it so
So from here, I'm going to disconnect it from my phone. And that's it. It goes right back to the normal and then back here. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.